we got hit hard and we continue to be hit. Health Commissioner Judy Persichelli spoke of the COVID pandemic and got hit with frank questions at a budget hearing that focused less on spending and more on her department's accountability, especially when COVID roared through New Jersey's long-term care facilities during the first surge, killing thousands. Lawmakers again asked whether the department's instructions to readmit hospital patients back into their nursing homes helped spread the virus. Is the narrative that's out there as recently as last week saying that this governor knowingly put people in harm's way in these nursing homes. Is that true or false? Totally false. Totally false. Uh, I stand by what we did. Persichilli insisted she warned nursing homes that couldn't isolate patients to ask the department for help. But she also admitted no one knew about asymptomatic spread back then. There were people walking around into our long-term care facilities with not a symptom and spreading that disease. If it's not the DOH's fault, like who who is being held responsible or who is what who is at fault of the 8,000 deaths? I'm not being glib. Is sure. uh, the virus is a fault? A novel virus that we've never before seen. The commissioner noted her department has finally caught up with long-term care facility infection control inspections and issued 613 citations for deficiencies, including 2.2 million in fines to 79 providers. She said the industry's one that, quote, has lacked resiliency for years. When you don't invest adequately in an industry, you are going to fail. The physical structures alone should all be changed. Why do we have semi-private and more rooms to the most vulnerable people? It should all be private. One industry rep concurred, noting Medicaid reimbursement, which covers 70% of industry costs, is too low. If we want private rooms, if we want uh, to pay our staffs more, what we need to do is invest in the industry. He also agreed asymptomatic spread contributed to the virus's lethal rampage. Some Democrats on the Assembly Budget Committee noted the former president knew as early as February that the COVID virus spreads through the air. If you knew what the president knew uh, as of February 7th, how many lives do you believe would have been saved in this state? I think well, that would have been substantial. I think it would have been substantial. Professor Kelly said variants are driving infections and that while Jersey's vaccinated half of its target 70 percent of adults, it may have to raise the goal to 80 to 85 percent in order to achieve herd immunity. University Hospital's Dr. Sharif El Nahal agrees. I think as close as possible that we can get to that uh, is really the goal. Otherwise, while we may have reduction in spread and reduction in cases, you're going to see outbreaks happen into the future. Dr. El Nahal said vaccination rates continue to lag in minority neighborhoods, even though the virus kills people of color at rates two and three times that of the general population. He applauded the state's initiative to give shots in churches and community centers. We are rerouting. We're working with the United Way. We're working with the city of Newark. Um, and the county here in Essex to make sure that we go as much as possible to where people are. But New Jersey's careful step-by-step -step reopening frustrated some lawmakers who see other states, like Connecticut, throwing off restrictions, even as Jersey continues with lockdowns. I think somebody has to have the guts and the courage to speak up for the people who are living and losing 30 to 40 percent of their businesses and, and are dealing with, oh, we have to worry about their well-being. When we start seeing the trends coming down, uh, if we will do incremental um, uh, uh, openings so that we can feel safe. She's hoping for a summer that's, if not normal, at least less restricted. I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.